Jared Poland, photo.com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Canon Printers who are sponsoring my 365 print giveaway. That's right, I'm giving away 365 of my prints all printed on the Canon Pro 1000, then signed and numbered and shipped out to 365 lucky people. To get signed up for your chance to get one of these prints free, head on over to fronosphoto.com slash fro365. And if you're looking for a professional photo printer at home, check out the Canon Pro 1000. First up this week, who's looking forward to May 16th? Whatever, Steven. I can tell you who's not looking forward to May 16th, Sony. Now why, you may ask? Because that's the day Nikon's supposed to release the firmware that adds eye detection AF to the Z6 and Z7, and Sony is scared. I'm so scared right now. And, and by scared, I really mean they, they aren't scared and they probably shouldn't be yet. Nikon Europe has released a 15 second teaser, which is actually 10 seconds of good stuff. That's a trailer showcasing the new features, which I will commentate for those who may be visually impaired, AKA me, and I'm kind of visually impaired. Hey Steven, did you know there's a category on Hub for blind people? Two young ladies are sitting in a coffee shop making eyes at the camera. They're probably looking at me, Steven. One has a yellow box around her eye showing that IAF is working. Next, the other girl who only turns left I'm not an ambi turner. leaves the coffee shop as the yellow box locates whichever eye it can find. And finally, it ends with a girl waving to someone, but I'm still not sure who she's actually waving to. So does it look promising? It looks like it's finding the eye, but we won't know until we test it. We have no way of knowing if it actually hits or if eye detect will work from a distance. The world looks blue and cold like my heart. Wait, those weren't the lyrics. As soon as the firmware is available, we will be putting it through some real world tests. So do you think Sony should be scared? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, how much trouble financially is Canon in? Canon Inc. has released their 2019 Q1 financial results, and I'm not sure exactly how to take them. In the first quarter, sales of interchangeable lens cameras were down 19% to 850,000 units. Holy shit, Steven, 850,000 cameras sounds like a lot were sold. Now let's say on average a camera sells for $650 and we multiply that by 850,000. Let me do the math in my head real fast. Yep, it's done. That equals $552,500,000. That's a lot, right? Well, it is, but last year they moved over a million units. The lowered forecast is due to a few things. One, a slowdown of sales in China, as well as more and more people thinking that their cell phone gives them great results. Guess what? They don't. Your photos still suck, no matter how many likes you get on Instagram. Now there is some good news for Canon, I think. I guess it depends on who you ask. Canon said, and I quote, in the first quarter, we grew our unit sales of mirrorless cameras at a pace far exceeding the overall market. Thanks to such new products as the EOS M50, which Steven, I didn't think was very new, and the EOS R. Now imagine how well they would grow with a pro mirrorless camera. That's the point, right? Are their sales down because they don't have a pro offering or is this a sign of the ever shrinking real camera market? Well, I guess only time will tell. And finally, is this massive sale that Nikon's running on the Z system proving that it isn't selling well and maybe they're in trouble as well? Nikon has announced their Capture the Savings promotion, which drastically cuts the price of the Z7 by 600 bucks to $2,800 while slashing $200 off the Z6 making that body only $1,800, which is less than the Sony a7 III, but not as expensive as my body. <laughs> the sale doesn't stop with just bodies because they've slashed lenses as well. The 70-200 FL VR lens is seeing a $650 price cut, taking it from $2,800 
down to $2,150. Shit, Steven, can I get $650 bucks back on the one I bought for full price? You can save $500 on the 24-70 2.8 VR and $300 off the 14-24 2.8. Now, does this mean that they've been overpriced all along? Now, this is a massive sale, which reminds me of one of those going out of business sales where everything must go, go, go! Anything and everything goes! Crazy Eddie's smashing prices to smithereens on everything in his humongous inventory! That looked like fun. Let me try. Crazy Jared here for Nikon announcing our massive inventory blowout sale where everything must go, 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 or we will go out of business. So please rush over to adorama.com slash fro. Nikon. So what do you think? Is Nikon in dire straits? And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.